Good evening or afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Hillbilly Select Reviews on Bourbon. And I would be your co-host, Bourbon Bob, and our host, Johnny. Come on out, Johnny. All right, but I prefer to go by pilot and co-pilot. Okay. All right, and I would be your co-pilot. I'll fly over here and make a nice landing in that chair over there. Okay. And try not to... Try not to crack. <laughs> yeah, try not to crack. What are we doing today, Johnny? We're doing, okay, first of all, we don't just do these rare bourbons that we have back here. We do them. We do expensive and rare and hard to find bourbons. But would we be remiss if we didn't do the everyday bourbon that most people drink? And today is one of those. It's a classic American icon. Jim Beam White Label. One of the best selling bourbons in the world best-selling bourbon in Japan. Uh, I believe in the U.S. Jack Daniels might be a little higher as far as selling, but that's an argument whether or not it's bourbon. Neither here nor there. This company started in 1795. There was a real Jim Beam. Born in 1864. Died in 1947. And that's the Beam that, that, who signed this, whose signature is on this label. During their seventh generation of family, you know, distillers. It was first called Old Jake Beam Sour Mash. Then the name was changed to Old Tub. A lot of people are familiar with that. Okay. And they make an Old Tub now, Jim Beam label. And then, of course, what we know now is the Jim Beam White label. It is 80 proof, 77% corn, 13% rye. It's kind of a nice mix. 10% malted barley. And, uh, this is a, um, it's a mellow whiskey. It's a low proof as far as whiskey, it's 80, but that's about as, as low as you're gonna go. And it's a low cost, which makes it very popular. And it's great for mixing, for making all these delicious bourbon cocktails that we talked about making before, that me and you sometimes will make, but when I, one of these days we need to start doing some videos on it. So, let's see what we get from the Jim Beam that is affordable, easy to share, a and great folks, mixer. I'm going to throw some price. We, uh, we've been doing these videos, we're somewhere in the 40s. We've been doing them. A bourbon screen? Yeah, bourbons, yes. We're somewhere in the 40s. And uh, John, of course, is from Louisville, I'm from Lexington. So we tend to do them in clusters. Well, Johnny has uh, downsized Bourbon Bob's bottles because usually after about five videos, Bourbon Bob gets oh, a little, little loose. That's true. That's so one thing. Now we're limited to how much. Yeah, Bob can't get too tied up now. Plus, I don't want to have 7,000 bottles of bourbon open and, and we can't have a drink. Exactly. Now, you're going you're gonna to laugh when I tell you this. You're going to laugh. When I say it, you're going to agree 1,000%. Tell me you're not getting banana. Oh. Yes, I do. And I do. And no, I love banana. Well, I'll tell you what. Then you need to drink Old Forester Rye. Full banana? It, it's in their yeast. I'm telling you. Yeah, yeast, well, the, the yeast on fruit is a lot of times the same yeast. That they it's get, the yeast so. drink. That's where how people go, how could wine have all those? Because the yeast is the same yeast on the Anyway. No, but the banana... I do get that as soon as you said it. I knew you were going to get it. It's strong. It's got a sweetness. Of course, banana's sweet. It's like, you know one of my favorite? I like cutting open a banana. This is what I like to have for dessert. Drizzling it with honey. Sprinkling 100% um, cocoa on it, cacao, whatever. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's a little bitter, but with the, yes. with the, with the uh, honey. And a lot of times putting walnuts. That's just a dessert I like to have. And let me tell you something, buddy. There's a lot of those things coming. I know it ain't going to taste. It's, it's too good to be true to the taste like that. But it sure does smell like it. And that's 77%, but I don't smell the corn. I don't smell Which is weird, because 77% is Yeah, I smell corn. vanilla wafer. Vanilla wafer? <laughs> yeah, vanilla right. wafer. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And vanilla, of course, in the wood, absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, let's see what we got. I'll say this. This is one of those mixing bourbons that could get you hurt. Because you don't 
get alcohol. I mean, you do not get an alcohol. There's a reason it's one of the out. best selling bourbons. Yes. Uh, this well. is mild, um, as mild can be. And you know, for the price, you know that jacks up the, the rating. Uh, it's sweet, it's vanilla. Yeah, it's. I don't taste the bourbon, I taste cereal. Yeah. I can sit this. I can sit this. And we've had, yeah, but I can sit this. And I think, I might be wrong, but I think over the years, and it might be another one that I'm thinking of, it might be Jack Daniel, I don't know. But they used to, they used to be, a, I think this is like the third proof of this, I think. Like it originally started out at one. Oh, I'm one, sure, one. because yeah. it can't get lower. No, can't get low. It, 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 this is yeah. the minimum right. alcohol by volume. It can be 40 or 80 proof. But really, if you're making mixed, certainly if you're making mixed cocktails or adding it to Coke, why wouldn't you use this? Why would you use anything more expensive than this mixed with Coke? I think it'd be dumb. Well, there was a... Um, it had a hell of a power to pull that out of there. I mean, yeah. It, yeah. I've actually had a Jim Beam... Pro, it's called mm -hmm. Prohibition. It's mm -hmm. got a red label. Mm -hmm. And the difference is this is chill filtered. That's not chill filtered. And it's got some of the oil on this in it that this doesn't have. Well, I'll tell you another little secret. Oh, it's called Prohibition. Jim Beam. Prohibition, yeah, yes. Now, I worked for Jim Beam on 4th Street Live in Louisville. Okay, I did work for him. And I shot several videos there. It's in this playlist somewhere. You'll see mm -hmm. when you read it. Uh, at the tasting bar where you can fill your own bottle. It's pretty neat. They have a Jim Beam there that you can only get there. It's distilled there, the high wines. It started somewhere else and then they finish it there. And um, it has a silver label. I can't remember the... It's called Jim Beam Urban Distiller, Reed. Well, I can't think of... I need to go down there. You did one that was a maple flavor. You did one No, that yeah, they've only made a lot of it. And they have every one down there for sale. But this one's only sold there. And I need to get a bottle. Why the hell I have more? And so we can do it here because they can't get it. They can only get it at the distiller. And so we need to do that when it opens up again. Um, fun working there. It was a fun place to work. It's on 4th Street Live in Louisville. Uh, trying to think what I want to say about that place. I'm, I'm thinking about the memories I have. I met uh, No, Booker No. Booker. He's the main distiller there. And I didn't get him to sign anything because I'm an idiot. And... Um, but anyway, enough of that. But uh, that, 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 I, I did a couple videos in there. Um, so Jim Beam, yeah, they have many, many. You know, they make uh, Booker's. They make what? They, they make so many that people might not be aware of. Hey, Basil Hayden. Um, Booker's Knob Creek. Knob Creek. So and Booker's. I don't think people realize that. Baker's. Baker's, yes. Booker's, Baker's, Knob Creek. Basil Hayden. And Basil Hayden. The three B's and the K. That's their uh, small. They are the first. Bourbon company that made what's called small batch, and those were their small batch. Yeah, so they're, they're, they're you know, like I said, they've been around a long time, 1795. Anyway, there it is, Jim Beam, done it for y'all, and uh, I enjoyed it. You know what? On the next one, let's compare this to the black label. Okay, all right, there you go. I'm gonna do this for you, black label. Coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for being here, and we'll be with you all in a second.